Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this month's setup is probably one of my favorite setups that I've done so far. It's the annual holiday setup and I'm so excited to share it with you guys because it's turned out so well and I'm so excited. And okay, so as you can see, it's a gingerbread theme. So each year, obviously, I do a Christmas theme, but I try to vary it out. And so last year I did ornaments. And so this year I decided to do gingerbread and cookies and gingerbread houses. <laughs> and so the first page, as you can see, was already done. And that's because I it, was, it just took so long to do that I didn't want to film it into like a 40 minute video. And I also did the calendar spread. I just wrote out the days of the week and uh, the month's dates because again, it, it's just, I feel like it's very unnecessary for me to like take out a ruler and draw all the lines. I feel like anyone can do that. Um, but on the side, to decorate up the calendar spread, um, I am drawing some gingerbread cookies. So for the gingerbread cookies, what I did even on the front was that I basically just took a brown marker, I outlined whatever cookie shape I wanted, and then I drew a smaller version of that shape inside. Like that's what I did for the Christmas tree, which I'm so sorry that's cut off, but you will see once you see the full picture. Um, and for the gingerbread man, I just drew out like a deformed star but put a circle on one side to make his head, and I just drew little lines near his hands and feet. and didn't color those little lines in and for the face in fact it's really simple coloring it's just two eyes and a mouth that I drew but didn't color in and that is the house for the house again it's a house shape and I just draw a smaller version of that inside and I don't color it in so there's two browns in my Crayola marker set that I used one is a little bit more lighter almost like a light burnt brown and this one the one that I'm using right now was um, a bit of a darker brown so I kind of just vary between the two um, I like to compare and contrast them I think they're both very fun colors for gingerbread and then I'm just drawing some green I don't know sprinkles in the back just to spice things up I really loved how homely this spread came out to be just the color theme of the browns and the red and the green is just so homely and so Christmas like so for the bottom I wrote out to do in um, the most Christmassy font that I could I decided to do just some simple calligraphy and then just simple serif lettering um, again, the Christmas spread, to me, I just, I wanted to give off a very homely kind of vibe out of this spread. So it's just simple, classic calligraphy. Um, and again, I wrote it to do, and then on the next page, what I decided to do was I decided to actually make check boxes. So these are just little boxes that I drew, or well, I'm going to draw, um, on the other side of the calendar spread. And those are just for you to write out your actual tasks. Sometimes I feel as if it helps me better when I actually draw the boxes instead of just bullet points so that I can check off the boxes and I find it very, very satisfying. So that's the calendar spread. The next spread is instead of a week spread, we're going to do a Christmas countdown spread and a wish list. Now, I know some people do Christmas present tracker or like a place to organize all the presents you're going to give which I do have um, But that will just be posted on my Instagram The wish list is my personal favorite because it's where I write down all the things that I want to buy for myself or ask Santa for during Christmas so um, This wish list spread just started off with a little banner and I quite frankly just took a marker and just kind of lined it together until it created a banner and then again did some simple calligraphy on it. Um, again, I highly, highly recommend sometimes to just do fake calligraphy in your bullet journal because if you mess up, especially when you're doing it on top of another marker that's already been colored on, it's very easy to mess up and so doing fake calligraphy can sometimes prevent that. So what I did here was I decided to draw two gingerbread cookies. One was an ornament and the other one will be a Christmas tree. As you can see, the ornament was not a perfect circle and I did mess up in some places. So what I just did was I kept on outlining it to make it look like the outside of a cookie until it was somewhat of a perfect circle. Um, and then I just drew little dots on the inside. And then the inside is blank so that you can write your little wish list in it. So 
So once I was done with this ornament, I decided to do the next one, which was the Christmas tree. Um, and for that one, again, I just drew out a basic Christmas tree. Most of the gingerbread Christmas trees that I drew were with three major like triangles coming out. Um, you can do however many you feel like. I just feel like three is a good lucky number. And um, again, just made outlined it so it looked kind of like a cookie. I honestly feel like just doing any sort of Christmas symbols in this dark brown just gives me that cookie feeling. And don't forget the star on top because you are a shiny star. So that was about it for the Christmas spread. Uh, the wish list spread, I'm sorry. And if I decided to do some calligraphy in the blank spaces, which says, all I want for Christmas is you, because that's my real wish list, guys. So now I'm gonna start on my, probably the most favorite spread of mine, which is the Christmas countdown. I always love doing the Christmas countdown. It's my favorite part and I love coloring it in every day. So again, obviously I would do the gingerbread house. It's a recurring theme. Oh, and another little um, disclaimer about my Christmas countdowns is that I always do it up to 24 days. I know it's supposed to be till 25 days, but I just feel like once it's like, day 24 I don't want to actually color it in on the day of Christmas because you know I just feel like I don't know I don't I just like it till 24 I think I only count the 24 days before Christmas so I just drew a simple house this is like the house that you draw it as in second grade um and just drew in a window and then um so when I was younger all the gingerbread houses I would create would always have little steps coming out so that's exactly what I drew I drew a little step that like a staircase stepway that went off the page and each one of them will be a day and then there's little gummies that stick together the house each one of them will be a day and so yeah that's how I made up the 24 days of Christmas the house itself is a day I know the door is a day uh, there will be smoke coming out of the chimney that is a day the chimney itself is a day so that's how we made up 24 days of Christmas So there's the finished spread guys, that's the Christmas countdown and the wish list spread um, and I hope you really enjoy it. Oh, the title, I completely forgot the title. So of course I wrote Christmas countdown above 
and oh this is a fun trick so underneath i was going to calligraphy countdown and like you predicted i messed up so what i did was oh i by the way i split the word countdown on each side of the stairs but what i did was i messed up on the n of the countdown and the first one so i just used white out I know that may bug some people because it's like a little bit off the white of the bullet journal but if that really bugs you just go on a previous page that you've already used in like I don't know August and just cut out a piece of that paper and glue it on if that really annoys you but honestly you can use white out and then go over it and no one will be able to tell because you will probably marker over it so as long as you use some sort of bright color that just attracts people's attentions away from the off-white it will be perfectly fine so this is the finished look this is the first spread and then we have the calendar spread and last but not least my favorite wish list and countdown spread thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a happy december